Hi, this is John, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Action Cable, and we'll be building a fun little thing we're calling a gift garden using Action Cable in Rails. So, Action Cable is a way that you can integrate WebSockets into Rails and still use all of your, you know, partial rendering and um, your Rails models and whatnot. So, if you have an existing Rails app and want to integrate some real-time capabilities using WebSockets or just building a new app, it's not a bad way to go. Versus something like Meteor, which if it's all real-time all the time might be a reasonable solution, or using something like Ember and uh, Firebase. Um, so we're going to be building a fun thing that I think sets you up with a decent foundation to start making games where you're moving things around the screen. Um, if you want to uh, just deal with something like building a chat room, uh, DHH has a great uh, walkthrough of building a chat room using an uh, action cable. But we are going to be making something I think is more fun. So if we go to our newly generated Rails app, so this is new, um, we're going to generate our, mod our first model, or our only model that we're going to care about. Uh, so we're going to make a GIF, it's going to have a URL, and it's also going to have coordinates. So it's going to have the URL and X and Y coordinates. And let's go ahead and create our database and migrate. So our schema now shows that we have our GIFs table, the URL, X, Y. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is generate a controller. Now, I, I never generate controllers usually, but um, the less code I have to type right now, the less I will fuck up. So we are going to generate ourselves a controller, and then in here we we'll make an index action. And so we want to make all of our GIFs available, and then let's go ahead and make ourselves an index view so we can see all of our lovely GIFs. So in here we're just going to render our GIFs collection and if you're not familiar with that uh, collection rendering, uh, Rails will see that we have the class GIF in there and we'll render our GIF partial. So in here we're going to have an image tag for our GIF go ahead and give it a class of GIF, which we'll use in a minute. And then we're going to put some super sweet inline style in here to apt to position it. So using its coordinates, we will position our GIF on the page. Hmm. Alright, so now let's go and add some styling. So I'm just going to jam it all in here for right now. So if we don't give our HTML and body 100% height, it'll just be collapsed to the height of our content. And we need to be able to capture um, events anywhere on the page. Uh, well, that'll make sense later. All right, so our GIFs, we want all of them absolutely positioned, and we don't want any of them to be more than 300 pixels wide or high. Just make sure we don't have any super huge GIFs uh, taking up all the space. Alright, so now we're going to say, hey, we want our root URL to be our GIFs index. Now, if we go and create a GIF, we need to find a GIF first. Let's go find a GIF. Uh, scrolls, this beers. All right, how about that guy? He's not even mad. Go ahead, generate a second. So let's go ahead and create ourselves a GIF. Okay, so now if we start our server. Hopefully we will see our GIF. There we go. Well, 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 that'll work. 
Great, so now we see that using just basic Rails shit, we've got our GIFs and we're displaying them in their absolute position on the page. So that's great, but let's get into something more fun. Um, so we are going to start by saying we need a service to get a random GIF. Um, because what we're essentially going to do is have where anybody can click on the page at any point and then a GIF will appear there. And if we use this I ain't even mad guy over and over, that's not very fun. So we are going to go ahead and make a model here. Let's call it a random GIF URL <coughs> and paste in some code here. So this is going to use the Giphy API. Uh, this is their public API key. Um, and hit their stickers endpoint to get a random sticker GIF. Okay, so don't worry about that too much. It's just going to essentially get us the URL for a GIF. Okay, so uh, we can come back to the console and look at that if you're curious. Make sure that works. Put our words in the right order. And we're good. Let's go see what this guy looks like. Well, that's a pretty lame one. But anyway, point is, we get a random GIF that will then appear on the page, and using the magic of WebSockets, we will uh, transmit that to everyone else who is currently on our page. All right, so to do that, uh, when we let's look at what got generated when we uh, first met our Rails application. So let's see, we have this new channels directory within our application cable. So our this channel file or class is our base channel class, which we will then subclass to make our own channels. And so a channel is essentially the pub sub uh, channel <laughs> uh, that we can subscribe to and transmit messages to. Uh, the connection class is where we would put things like if we are, were actually um, authenticating users, uh, then we could do that here. Um, one thing to note with authentication is that Action Cable can only access um, cookies, not the session itself. Um, let's see, then in assets. We have our channels directory, then we have our cable.js. So here's where we set up an app namespace, and then we say, hey, app.cable is our action cable consumer. Okay, so we are going to create our first channel. Um, there's now a generator for channels. So you can see the help information there. But let's go ahead and create ourselves a GIF channel with one action called create. All right, so now see here it created some JavaScript for us. Let's close all the other things. But it also created a GIF channel in Rubyland. So we want to say we're going to stream from a channel that we're just going to call GIF. Um, if you were making something where it wouldn't be shared across everybody or you had different like rooms or a chat room, you could you know, jam an ID in here to make it a, uni a unique identifier. <coughs> um, so great, that is streaming from GIF. Um, so this create action is going to be called from our JavaScript. So we will see that shortly, but for the moment, let's go ahead and say, hey, we are going to have this GIF creation service, which we will pass in coordinates to this create from our front end. So essentially we'll click on the page and then the JavaScript will send the X and Y from that event to uh, Rubyland, where we can then use this service. Um, Talk more about that in a moment. And create. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our service. So, services directory here. 
here. service. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and paste some code in here because this isn't really what we care about. Um, so, taking our coordinates and then we have a create method which creates the GIF and then we, what is most relevant here for action cable is that we're going to broad broadcast the creation of that GIF. So, here we're going to just create an GIF record using our random GIF URL the class that we created earlier and the X and Y coordinate that got passed in and then we are going to use a job to broadcast that GIF's creation so let's generate ourselves a job called GIF broadcast alright so when we perform we are passing in the GIF. Uh, we're calling perform now uh, just so I don't have to worry about setting up um, background processing. Uh, in real life you'd probably say perform later to make it actually asynchronous. Alright, so this receives a GIF <coughs> and then we are going to talk to our action cable server say broadcast on the GIF channel and then we pass it a hash because that has to get serialized into JSON for consumption by our uh, client. So we're going to say render gif, gif, and then have private method called render gif, which takes a gif. And so this is another cool thing about Rails 5 is that they've extracted um, the rendering so that we can do this from a non controller. So that uh, gifs partial that we created earlier, we're going to render that and pass it in our GIF as a local. So that is this guy. So that's just our image tag with the class and uh, styling with the coordinates. <coughs> All right, so now let's go back and look at our coffee script. All right, so our client side channel needs to do something when it receives this broadcast. So here we are broadcasting GIF with this data. So our channel over here is responsible for receiving that data. So when we say, hey, we've received a broadcast, we are going to append to our body that data because remember we are actually rendering that. So we're returning HTML from our server. And so this is just going to uh, jam that new GIF on the page. <coughs> the other thing that we need to know about is, okay, so how do we get from our client side to here, right? So that is from this create action here calling perform with create is what gets us over to the client side channel. Alright, so we are going to be calling this method with our coordinates and then it is just going to be passing those along to our client or to our server side GIF channel. Alright, so the only other thing we need to do is and here's where our application or domain sort of logic comes in is when we actually call this method. So I'm going to pop into the GIFs coffee script file that got generated when we generated our GIFs controller. And we're just going to attach an on click handler to our body and say when we click our body, we call create on our so let's see we're saying after gif is this channel uh, subscription so on that channel subscription we're calling this create method down here and we're going to pass in <coughs> the uh, x and y from the event so this is just plain JavaScript until we get into app.gif where we are dealing with action cable magic. 
All right, so we are going to restart our server because I think Rails still has some problems with um, live reloading channels. And then we're going to come over here and see if this works. And it actually works in the first attempt, so that's awesome. So this isn't terribly impressive until we see that if we had multiple clients attached to the same endpoint, we get this for everybody. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's great. Uh, I've got this set up on Heroku, action cables dash stickers dot Heroku app dot com. Um, if you want to play with it in real life and the code is available on GitHub here to artful dodger slash action cable dash stickers, which was my original name, which was a lot less fun than gift garden. Anyway, I hope that was helpful and uh, have a great day.